Hi, my name is Javier San Agustin and I am a PhD student at the IT University. I'm working at the Gaze Group and today I'm going to present the ITU Gaze Tracker that we have developed within our group. We have developed two different versions of our eye tracker. One of them is a remote setup where we place a video camera next to the computer screen and the other one is a head-mounted uh, setup where we place a webcam right next to the user's eye. First, I am going to demonstrate how to use the remote setup. In this setup, we use a video camera equipped with uh, night shot vision and two infrared lamps like this that emit uh, infrared light towards the user's eyes. We place both lamps on top of the screen and the video camera below the screen. This is a standard uh, infrared lamp that uh, you can buy in any computer or electronic shop. We activate the night shot mode of the camera and we cover the uh, built-in LED with non-transparent tape. When we launch the ITU gaze tracker, we are presented the main application window. This shows the image of the eye if the head is correctly positioned in front of the camera. When we launch the application, the only uh, button that is active is the setup. This will launch a setup window where we can tweak the parameters of the eye tracker. In the setup window, we need to set up the pupil and glint parameters. The pupil is shown in green and we need to tweak the pupil detector slide bar to have a green pupil in the image and having as less possible green in the rest of the image. We can launch a bigger window of the eye by pressing in the resize button. This will make it easier to uh, tweak the parameters of uh, the eye tracker. If the pupil is not properly detected, we can see these blinking crosses as an indication of this fact. We can tweak the pupil size parameters by changing it in the slide bar. The minimum and maximum pupil size are represented by two circles, minimum by blue circle and maximum by a green circle. We also need to tweak the parameters of the glint. There is a glint detector slide bar that should be set so we get two crosses along the glint. We need to have the glints in blue but trying to have as less blue possible in the rest of the image. Once we have tweaked the tracking parameters, we can close this window and return to the normal main application window. We need to calibrate the system in order to be able to estimate gaze. We can launch the calibration by clicking on the calibrate button. This will show some points on the screen that the user has to follow. Once we have calibrated, we get uh, the calibration results window. The calibration targets are shown on the screen together with some circles that represent the calibration results. So for example, this big red button represents a bad calibration point. While the others, since the point in enclosed on the calibration target is very small, represent good calibration targets. In this case, with bad calibrations, we only get a two the star's score. When we get a lower rating, we should recalibrate. If we get three or more stars, we can try to use the eye tracker. When we finish the calibration, there is a crosshair that will follow our eyes. This way we can check how good the calibration is. Right now I'm looking at the center of the big red circle. Once we have completed the calibration, we can press the start button to start controlling the mouse with our eyes. Now we can launch any application that we want to work with and control the mouse with our eyes. If we want to click, we need to use the mouse or any other specialized software. Now I am going to demonstrate how to use 
a low-cost webcam together with our eye tracking software. We are using a Genius night vision webcam and we mount it on a piece of balsa wood that we bite to place the camera close to our eye. For this setup to work, we need to have the head very still. For this reason, I am using a very comfortable chair that provides me with headrest. In this setup, we don't have any glint to, uh, to track, so we should choose only to track the pupil. We can see in the image how we are detecting the pupil by the green cross in the center of the pupil. The calibration procedure is right, just the same as in the other setup. We can also mount the camera on the arm of an office lamp. This is particularly useful when the user is lying on bed or when the user cannot hold the camera in his mouth. The ITU Gaze Tracker is released as open source. You can download it from our website www.gazegroup.org. In our website you will also find other software tools for gaze interaction.